Good morning, good afternoon, or good night, depending on when you're watching this. How's it going, guys? Let me ask you a question to you guitar people out there. Do you own a guitar with a Bigsby attached? Well, is your Bigsby doing this? Like, just being super loose and making annoying noises such as this? And gets really annoying, especially when you're playing, moving around, and then your Bigsby just wiggling all over the place, including when you're sitting, going to grab Bigsby and all you... It just does that, just moves all the way down, like Floyd Roses do. So, why is it doing that? I don't know, but we're gonna find out today. I first noticed this issue last year around April or May, the very end of my lockdown semester of college. And the problem started with just the Bigsby being a little bit looser than what it usually was. Like, I can put it in the back here and it would be fine, I could put it up in the front and it would be okay, but it was just a bit more loose now and notice it fall more. As months passed on, the squeaking developed, which got annoying, and then this past fall semester, that's when it's starting to get like super loose and more annoying, especially when I'm standing up and playing and trying to use the Bigsby for it. You know, just Bigsby parts. So there was that, and I it's got it's really annoying. And I'm trying to think of like what the issue is, and I come up with a couple of ideas. One, it could be really simple and it could just need WD-40, like Hank Hill would suggest. And or, what I think it is, is actually a bolt inside of the big speed. Because I'll notice that like, you, the arm is loose, like I'll hold the guitar and you can see the arm is going up and down here. So, I think it might be the actual nut right underneath of the arm. So, we're gonna see what it is. I need to take the strings off this guitar, so what a better perfect way to diagnose, to troubleshoot what's wrong with the Bigsby than taking the strings off and finding out. So, welcome to the process. Let's find out what's up with loose, squeaky Bigsby's. The strings are off, as you can see, which means the Bigsby arm is now free to come back. Now, I mentioned the two ideas, the WD-40 idea, as well as maybe it's the nut right here. So, I'm gonna see that if it is, in fact, this right here first. We are now at a different angle. Let's go ahead and remove the spring because that's gonna go ahead and get in our way. Now, it's been a couple of minutes between the takes and I'm not sure if I already said this, but we're gonna go ahead and try out my theory of maybe the arm is loose compared to using the WD-40 first. Now, from here, I notice several things. One, we get a, nut, a little nut bolt right there. And we also get like this little Allen key insert right here. And you can see that little Allen key insert better in this angle. So that actually is a game changer right here because it could be that, it could be. So I don't know, like, I feel like the Allen key, it controls this post right here. And like, it's not sliding this way. So I don't feel like that is it. So I'm gonna go with the bolt method right here. So what I'm gonna do is I have a pair of pliers and we're going to tighten. Hopefully I can get a grip on it. There we are. Oh, that's feeling a lot better already. Oh, wow. Yeah, that is so much better. That is fantastic. Let's go ahead and put the spring back on, put it up. Actually move it. And oh yeah, that is what I want. That is perfect. So first time is the charm. So if it's loose and squeaky, it is the little nut right here. Go ahead, grab yourself a pair of pliers and begin to tighten. Of course, I should say don't over tighten it. Don't over tighten. It. Proceeds to tighten the bolt more. Go me. Well, the snapping only put the strings on, not the tuning. But the more important part is how is our big speed. So let's see here. That is so much better like I actually need like give a little bit of force 
it's like moving now so that is great so if i like just wiggle it back and forth it does nothing if i pick it up and shake it it does nothing turn it on the side does nothing so there we have it we fixed the problem and that was how to fix a loose and squeaky Bigsby arm. I really hope you guys enjoyed this short little video, this little troubleshooting video. I um, really hope it was helpful for you. If it was helpful for you, let me know down in the comments. Go ahead and like the video if you like. Subscribe to the channel if you want to. Once again, you are not obligated to, but if you feel so inclined to come on this journey through life with me, go ahead and subscribe. That got a little bit deep. But anyway, I'm going to see you guys in next week's video. Goodbye. Good night and enjoy that not loose Bigsby.